to the cult of speed I apologize if it's loud right now I am in the middle of mic testing so hopefully you can hear if not rip whatever that's how it goes with this crap so uh, today we're gonna do uh, some testing because of a couple things some new developments uh, technology wise on the channel but also some new development skill wise I was just recently doing a video shoot for my uh, video production company yesterday and I was having an issue with my camera I have a Sony a6700 which I've used to film this this bike and um, when I was using it I noticed number one I got this image that was really noisy meaning that uh, n not loud if you don't know if you don't speak camera nerd or whatever not loud but like noisy grainy image so that was number one kind of a concern issue number two was um, I have a filter on it kind of like these filters on the GoPro and everything here is uh, it's a circular polarizer ND filter well anyways when I used it on my camera I noticed that I was getting some effect in the sky which I'll try to show you in the in the footage here uh, which was really annoying and I hated it so I'm wondering if it's the filter I have or just I didn't mess with the circular polarizer enough which I mean this camera that I'm shooting on right here has a uh, circular polarizer as well and it could look the exact same way right now because it's an action camera I can't preview it I'm just rolling with what I got here so anyways that's what we're doing today we are also going to my favorite place in the world. Come kick it with us as we go do this. But yeah, stick around with us. Thank you for watching. I hope you've been enjoying the video so far. If you're new here, well, this is the Cult of Speed. Uh, we do everything fast, that's the tagline. So if you like that kind of stuff, cars, motorcycles, trucks, you name it, whatever, that's what this channel plans on getting into. We started here with Scarlet, uh, my beautiful 2017 Road Glide, but we also have a uh, 2011 BMW M3 named Sapphire, and uh, that I featured on the channel a bit. I just really like the motorcycle stuff, so I kind of do that a little bit more. I grew up in a car family, so I, I love cars, don't get me wrong, but uh, I don't know, two lane life, love it. So yeah, if you're new here, hit the sub button, hit the like button, or not, I hope you just have some fun. Uh, with this video, so let's get to it. She says it's really good. Mine's really good. That's all, folks. We've made it to Dixon Flannel. Seriously, the best place. If you haven't been here, I've told you enough times, you gotta come here. So we're gonna go in. We're just grabbing some, a couple things and checking it out. They're gonna be sorry they were ever born. Who? All of them. That 
was Dick's in flannel. And I hope now that you've seen it, you know why I like it so much. That place is literally ridiculous. It is so nice. It has so many cool things. Like I could spend so much money there. I'm really glad that I restrained myself and only bought a couple of things, which are for the channel. Uh, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, so that was Dixon. This place right here for the nine billionth time, go check it out because you're gonna love it. All right, so here we are. We're gonna do some testing. Gonna make a, hopefully a cool edit on the, the bike here really quick with some cool graffiti here. This is the Oak Street Murals down in Phoenix. So come check it out if you're in the area. Maybe check it out when it's not so hot because I'll tell you what, I'm sweating and I'm dying. So let's get this done fast. So um, this is part of the thing I'm testing. So firstly, I'm testing this ND filter. So if I go all the way dark, my exposure looks all right. It's a little underexposed. So that's a little bit better. Um, and one thing that I was checking is my histogram. So I wasn't really reading that the first time. So that's a little thing on, on their uh, camera screen that looks like this. I'll show it on the screen. But uh, I wasn't reading that right. When it's over to the left, it's underexposed. When it's over to the right, it's overexposed. You kind of want it in the middle. So I wasn't doing that. So now I'm checking that. Uh, and I was going off the exposure chart at the bottom, which uh, isn't correct. So. I got sweat dripping into my eyes. Like I said, let's do this fast. Phoenix, man, Phoenix problems. Okay, so um, yeah, that I have now understand a little bit better. I was doing that wrong with the uh, ND filter. So now I've got that kind of corrected. The other thing that I was correcting is this. It's the CPL, the circular polarizer. It helps take out glare and reflections, but I was doing it wrong. And you see on screen that there's this um, black or darker spot that comes in the sky. I was using that wrong. So hopefully I got that right. So I just want to check a couple of those things. I also have my ISO way down, which I had it up for some reason because the ND filter. So hopefully we get a really crisp, clean image out of these uh, edits. So let's run it. Racing to the finish line. Seat belt, fast whips. Got a win in mind. Send me when I skirt off. And I'll tend to mind. Friends keep saying slow down. Should have seen the sign. Okay, so that is gonna do it for the video. Uh, just a couple tips and tricks. So what you wanna use is like a mic like this for my camera uh, on the bike. Uh, this is what I'm using, this DJI mic right here. Also, you'll wanna use your ND filter, what I've kind of showed you with how I can adjust the lighting. And then the polarizer, that was one of the biggest things I wanted to test. So hopefully that turned out good and the sky looks pretty and it's not all messed up. So. That's kind of what we did today. It's super hot. I'm done today. Um, but I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for being back in the cult. And uh, you've been officially initiated. Like, subscribe, comment, whatever. And we'll see you on the next one. Peace.